As many of us were sitting down with family enjoying the Easter holiday, the sun decided to remind us who's boss when it comes to space weather. Another X-class solar flare, luckily not directed towards Earth this time, set off a chain reaction of solar flares comparable to what we saw last week. With no signs of stopping, this new set of sunspots making its way towards Earth facing will more than likely be the culprit that sends solar wind towards the Earth at nearly 1 million miles per hour. We are certainly going to talk about that and the already odd effects it's having on the surface of the earth. And let's not forget we have a nor'easter in place with winter storm warnings already in effect with some areas expected to get over a foot and a half of snow. My friends, we are in the twilight zone and we're going to talk about it right here, right now. Let's go. <laughs> my friends, April 18th, 2022, and it is no secret that the sun has been showing its ability to take over space weather news, just like it did one week ago with that massive showing of just what solar maximum can be. In just the past 30 hours alone, beginning with an X-class solar flare, we've had 13 other solar flares, ranging in different strengths, but all compact into a short period of time. And for the most part, what we have to thank for these explosions off the sun is this specific group of sunspots. As you can see, sitting in that mid to northwest quadrant of the sun right now, these sunspots will be making their way towards Earth facing from west to east until they are dead smack in the middle, Earth facing. Now, don't get me wrong, even when these sunspots are not directly Earth facing, the amount of power given off by something like an X class solar flare can absolutely still have effects on Earth. They may not be as great, but it has been proven time and time again that the solar wind comes off the sun at hundreds of thousands of kilometers a second does a number on the Earth's magnetic field. Now, I want to show you something interesting that I discovered just as this X-class flare was taking place. Now, I can't say for sure this is a direct relation to why we have a tsunami buoy that went off near Alaska, but here's the information I came across. And you are all more than welcome to go verify these GMT and UTC time frames, but this buoy was triggered in an upward direction. Now, for those of you that follow my channel and we follow these buoys very closely nine times out of ten when they are activated it is a big dip that sets them off but in this case this buoy was triggered in an upward motion and that's not all just hours later another tsunami buoy was triggered off the coast of South America which you are seeing on your screen right now you're looking at both the South America buoy and the Alaska buoy both in activation mode and guess what neither of these were triggered by earthquakes in fact I did the research and not a single earthquake capable of setting these buoys off took place in either area. Now, of course, in the past, we have seen these buoys be set off by mysterious things, not necessarily a solar flare from the sun, but once again, the timing here is everything. And now moving along to this nor'easter situation, we have also done research on this channel that shows that the impact of solar wind can in fact increase the strength of weather systems. And as I'm sure most of you know by now, we are watching and following a massive nor'easter making its way up the east coast as we speak putting multiple states in a winter weather watch that's right one day after easter some of these areas could be getting as much as a foot and a half of snow now what's interesting about this storm and again i am hypothesizing here but just as we were getting hit with massive amounts of solar wind the amounts of snow and the amount of energy being produced by this nor'easter went up about 50 percent and just to prove to you guys that I'm not too far out on left field, even though that's a fun place to be, take a look at these snow totals pre-solar wind as compared to what they are after the solar wind. That is a drastic difference in snow. That is a drastic difference in the power of this nor'easter. And of course, there are other factors at play, the cold air coming down from the north, the jet stream, all sorts of things. But once again, I'm not a fond believer in coincidences, and this information seems to line up absolutely perfectly. To say the least, it is going to be very interesting to watch what happens here in the Northeast. In fact, I'm right in the thick of this thing now. So you know I'll be watching and updating here on the channel as well as continuously watching the SDO cameras and our sun because I'm telling you right now, those sunspots are not done releasing energy and the closer they get to Earth, the more and more you and I will have to worry about it. As always, I wanna thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you all enjoyed your holiday weekend and the time with family and friends. It's always a positive, healthy thing to do. And as sure, 
there is it's going to snow in April. You can be sure I will be here tomorrow with another update. Shout out to Canada. Questions or concerns, please leave down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all, and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.